sleeping. Hello, uh, good day once again. This is your teacher, Romel S. Villarubia, and uh, today's video I'm gonna show you the research process. Okay, so we are still on the second quarter. Uh, the previous video that I have was so uh, what's that uh, ethics no ethics in research this time we will have uh, to discuss the research process if you have questions clarifications later on just uh, comment in our or message in our GC GCs okay let's start the research process this is by from uh, this PowerPoint presentation is from Sir Roland P. Innes, the former research teacher and uh, I have that I adapted this PowerPoint for our discussion so uh, mm, the research process no? What comes into your mind when you hear the word research process? Okay, so feel free to answer. Yeah. Uh, if you if you have in if you had in mind uh, steps or uh, the guides in research, so that's correct. So we have here. Research is a key to progress okay. oh. there can be no progress without research in almost I if not all human endeavors okay so yeah this is correct no mm, and true so what we are what we have at present our comforts in our living is a product of research Okay, that may be as a student or as a human human being in general. No? And later on, uh, our progress is uh, of course also due to researches. No? For example, uh, planning to reach Mars is one of the. Uh, say target of SpaceX and uh, that is uh, produced out of research okay. next the research process of course you have this one uh, I think you have this uh, already in your grade 7 if I'm not mistaken or if not this is our this is the entire research process uh, that we have to go through in producing our uh, SIP in our level no, junior high school science investigatory project number one identify the problem number two review the literature next formulate the hypothesis identify the nat uh, the data needed then collect data analyze data summarize results draw conclusions and uh, at the same time identify implications and we're going to go through e each of the process in the next slides every research starts with a problem without a problem there is no need to conduct a research right do you agree with this uh, statement so uh, okay you may not agree or uh, you may agree but uh, for me uh, yeah we can only uh, have a uh, research if there is a problem the problem may 
may come in uh, different nature no nature of the problem no? but uh, still uh, subjected to research so the problem or anything that give us a feeling of discomfort okay so as a student so uh, if you're given an assignment so if you feel it uh, discomfort that's a problem and then you need to research that okay <laughs> but uh, generally you know anything that give us a feeling of discomfort is a problem next a problem is a state of affairs that need to be changed okay and another a problem is anything that is not working as expected of course it's a problem no? say may may in a device may in a, a procedure things like that next the first thing a researcher does is to of course identify and clearly define the problem to be studied okay first you need to identify a problem and uh, once you have identified the problem you have to clearly define your problem so that it will it will also have clear uh, possible answers and procedures to answer your problem so in this subject this is the I think the only subject that uh, we are uh, looking for a problem okay next characteristics of a good research problem okay but that, that problem that you're referring here is a research problem or not just a ordinary uh, problem subject problem that are subject to a science investigatory project must be relevant of course no? relevant to, to to a certain uh, procedure to a certain work to the community to the humanity things like that must be feasible okay no so it, it must be a uh, doable no or uh, possible or uh, can be uh, can be done okay feasible must be clear okay it was mentioned a while ago it must be clear so you should state your problem clearly like uh, what is the you specify the independent and de dependent variable so when stating the problem uh, the title itself later on or the problem should identify what is to be studied and what is uh, expected uh, out uh, answer or output dependent dependent variable vice versa no? I mean independent dependent variable next must be ethical of course we have discussed that in our previous instruction we have uh, international guidelines on ethical standards in conducting SIP uh, 2021 we have uh, updated in uh, uh, not Intel but uh, Regeneron uh, rules and guidelines in conducting uh, scientific research or SIP science and research project in our previous video so it must be aligned with that guideline next sources of research problem okay again in this uh, subject we are uh, looking for problems in uh, I think in real life we avoid problems but uh, in this particular subject we try to identify 
problems in various areas. No? So, where can we get the research problems? Uh, it may, may come from specialization and area of knowledge. Okay, so if you are uh, good in math in, as, a, as a student no, of junior high school, so uh, uh, where do you think you are uh, you are good at or specialize at uh, that may be the source of your research problem say so if you're good in math maybe uh, problems in theories things like that that you have uh, realized or discovered you can research or yeah and uh, in uh, area of uh, say science of, of course there are the different fields in sciences now we have physical life sciences if you are uh, very good at uh, machines robotics things like that there's also a special field of science and uh, also one of the category of the SIP the RIM robotics and intelligent machine machines next work area okay it the research problem problems make may come from work area organizational practices and needs okay so for example uh, uh, it may come from come from uh, you your father's work, your parents' work, brother's work that uh, has shared to you about a certain problem in their uh, in their procedures in conducting a uh, uh, particular type of job or uh, procedure. So that may uh, give rise to a research problem. Okay the needs to improve the practices and procedures in a certain uh, work or line of mm, job for example in agriculture so uh, we can improve the the practices in uh, uh, agricultural processes things like that no say for example in pest control so if you if there is a problem in the practice of the pest control or needs of improvement in the practice of uh, pest control in agriculture uh, procedures that may give rise to a research problem line of interest somewhat related to specialization but a line of interest is uh, your interest. No? So, as a student researcher, uh, it is easier to work with a research problem that you are interested to. Okay? That, that uh, sp sprang from your uh, interest. Okay? Not just uh, given to you by uh, your by by other uh, uh, other resources, maybe you know. Uh, uh, it it may be uh, uh, you you can consult uh, others, other resources, other uh, specialists of the field of your line of interest. So it it can be uh, like that so you have your interest and then you consult other that's better of course because you are our knowledge as a student is limited and there are other uh, professionals or uh, other organization that you that is in line with your interest you can consult them then offshoots of studies or extension of investigations so these are uh, uh, conducted studies and you find there uh, in their recommendations that uh, this is uh, where the studies go into and then you 
you uh, you you've taken the recommendations as your study, you know. Things like that. Extension of investigations. Okay. Next. Requirements of a good research study. So we have here, no? His doctor tells me that John has a chronic case of, ba of bird brain flu. Mm. Okay. So, uh, again, this is a uh, good research study. Is the topic or area of concern or subject worth investigating? Okay. That's the question that should be answered. So the worth of, uh, of a certain area of interest or subject. Where is it worth investigating? Next, can the researcher do the job? Okay. That includes your skill as a skill and expertise as a st as a student researcher the money and time of course because uh, a research involves uh, effort time and also we cannot avoid uh, money of course expenses and knowledge on the techniques and statistics that's why if you, uh, as you go along, I mean, as you go forward in the research in your junior high school, by now, uh, at, at present, you are at research 2, after this grade 9, research 3, and then after grade 10, research 4. So, uh, you will develop this along the way, knowledge on the techniques and statistics in research. And, of course, with the help of your advisors, in the future no? in doing your research skills and ex expertise also can be done with uh, experts in the field who are practicing your uh, your area of interest or your project or we call that we call this as you can consult the uh, QS or qualified scientists. Next. So let's have this one. Another uh, question to be answered. If your research is a good research study. no. Is it the topic area the researcher wants to do? Okay. Uh, this... Uh, this will... Uh, in this portion, it will... Uh, come uh, come in the line of interesting no? is it your is is this uh, out of your interest do you like really your study or it was just given to you okay because if you if you if you are really interested in your study uh, that is easier to work and uh, you really take time and effort to do that Next, can the desired inquiry be put through? Okay, so your goal, no? your uh, problems, it has an the availability of data. Okay, so uh, the method to be used and the management support. Okay, so I I I is your project has a uh, feasible data no doable data later on and uh, is the method of your project research project uh, I'm uh, SIP no science investigatory project doable also okay so as much as possible uh, the procedures the methods should be uh, available in the community to avoid uh, avoid uh, too much expenses okay then management support okay are, are there available uh, qualified scientists 
or uh, sponsoring adults and money and time okay. so we have here a strip a comic strip no faith based medical science take two aspirin and pay for a parkinson's cure in the morning <laughs> okay so uh, we are down to 11 slides next choosing choosing a topic okay so this has been uh, the perennial problem of a uh, student researcher is uh, what and how to choose a topic no I mean uh, the problem of the student researcher is how to find a problem <laughs> specifically research problem okay or topic no? so looking closely looking closely at the world around you okay you can turn everyday experiences into a project topic by using the exploring question i wonder okay again uh, we have uh, daily practices in the in the community no not much maybe I as a student but uh, but as a community no there are daily practices in the community that can be uh, source of a topic or your project topic choosing a topic from your experience for example you have here having a cold is not pleasant but you could use this distasteful experience as a means of selecting project topic for example yeah these are the daily experiences so having a cold Okay, so, for example, uh, from your experience, no? or from or or can be from the experiences of the others, who are in the work uh, related to sciences and uh, math, technology. Okay, so not not just from the. Uh, uh, let's add, f uh, from your experience. Uh, at at the same time from the experiences of others now because we're going to base it from our experiences as a student uh, that we have limited uh, experiences in terms of uh, practices and procedures in uh, in the fields of sciences now and mathematics okay but again that can be a source of inspirational um, project topic just uh, for example having a cold is uh, just uh, having a cold can be a source of a topic already no how to yeah there are ways to uh, get rid of or cure or uh, say get rid of the cold or say how to prevent cold. things like that so there are areas before after or during yeah? a cold next a topic find a topic in science magazines okay so we have from your experience or experiences of others and from magazines don't expect topic ideas in science magazines to include detailed instructions on how to perform experiments okay what you can look for are facts that interest you and that lead you to ask exploring questions again exploring questions an article about Antarctic animals might bring to mind these exploring questions I wonder how do fat thing penguins stay warmer than skinny penguins then body insulation would be a great project topic okay so uh, in 
in searching topic in science magazines, do not uh, do not search for the entire an entire research uh, research project. Okay. Well, shall we say ready-made project? No. What you just you are looking for is a uh, topic or ideas in a science magazines. No. And uh, out of that topic or ideas or article, the rest is uh, for you to explore. Just like the example here. Okay. Next. Selecting a topic from a book on science fair projects or science experiments. Okay, so we can also choose from the topic here. So we have from our experience, from uh, experiences of others, from the science magazines and uh, we have here science fair projects of others and science experiments of others no? science fair project books can provide you with many different topics to choose from yeah. science experiments books can provide you with exploratory cookbook experiments that tell you what to do what the results should be and why but it will be up to you to provide all the exploring questions and ideas for further experimentations. So, uh, uh, since the since time immemorial, when we have a uh, research projects here in the school uh, during uh, uh, say let's just say twenty years ago, no? Since we have the SIP, no in uh, Tagum City National High School you can search those uh, outputs of the former students here of the uh, of last year students or students of the STE of the say 20 years ago to last up to last year students check their output read their output their projects and try to learn from them no? and choose the topic that you like but again do not copy their output just uh, try to look at how they have the, the done the, their project and learn from it and the rest you came you, you can came up with an inter interesting project or topic out of that but not to copy it literally next So we are, we are in uh, slide 16. Project types. So after these project types, let's uh, cut this uh, video and then proceed to another video in the next uh, day. Because it's it is uh, composed of 50 slides and it may be lengthy to you. So we have around how many minutes already? So let's cut this into fragments of presentations. Last uh, topic here. Project types. Basic choices. Okay, so there are different types of project depending on uh, categories or fields of sciences of your, cho of your choosing. An investigation. Okay, the project, the science project can be an investigation example how long does it take the heart to return to normal after exercise so you can investigate that second example what is the most electricity you can make with a magnet and a coil okay by day you can investigate that then uh, how rapidly does a plant make starch Okay, so those are example of an investigation type wherein, wherein you can conduct experiments on that. Next. Construction of a kit or model. 
So, uh, investigation, it involves uh, experimentation. This time, this is uh, gadgets or kit or model construction. Okay, so we have here a model of a solar-powered home. Okay, but uh, but uh, the update on on how to conduct uh, physical usually this or this is this this falls on physical science category and RIM robotics intelligent machines in in construction of uh, machines gadgets and say product it should be uh, a, a working model okay so it is not just a prototype model of your gadget of your of your uh, say device machines or kit or product but it should be a working model when you say working model that is a uh, it it runs and functions as it is no as a product okay so um, if you if you just came up with a model a prototype yeah it's not uh, accepted okay it should be a working model example an ecology terrarium so these are just a uh, basic no insulation materials and their uses so those are uh, construction of kit or model so let's just specify that it's a working model mm. so again let's stress this if you if you, if you pursue pr physical science and RIM it should work according to its function no? as a product no? say for example if you release that as a mark into the in the market it should work as it is no? so mm, well uh, it is uh, discouraged that you only create a prototype of a certain uh, model okay. it should be a really working model no? next demonstration of a scientific principle scientific principle no? examples measuring lung capacity an oil drop model of splitting atom and an electrical smoke trap okay so uh so these are uh, thi this falls on maybe uh, uh this falls on the physical still physical science and uh, physical science in and RIM or uh, robotics and intelligent machines or innovations and uh, a little on life sciences no? so you have the scientific principle and then you apply it uh, in uh, practical applications yeah, like you came up with a uh, uh, practice in the say in the s scientific field say procedural practice like for example uh, let's just say uh, basic no, uh, canning for example no? in can factories how to pro properly uh, the proper procedures of canning just for just for an example no? so you again demonstration of a scientific principle so for example what a uh, scientific principle uh, let's just say temperature and volume relationship no so uh, and then you apply that into a uh, practical applications in uh, in a uh, field of work or in the uh, science fields in other fields agriculture or uh, say medicine okay yeah next an investigation an investigation for example we have here last example that we have 
How long does it take the heart to return to normal after exercises? So, your purpose, your goal, what exactly are you trying to figure out with your project? Okay? So, if you have this uh, problem here, or topic, what are what are, are you trying to to do with this uh, question? Okay, so make a statement, for example, to find out how long it takes the heart of an average 8th grader to return to normal after exercises. So, uh, you state the purpose just uh, by answering the question here. Okay, and then, uh, so you have your purpose here. You you came you come up with a hypothesis. No? So hypothesis based on what you know, try to make an answer for your question. Of course, you're going to answer the question here. Your statement, for example, is. It takes an average 8th grader's heart 5 minutes to return to normal after exercises. Okay, so that is your uh, hypothesis. Educated guess. Actually, when you say educated guess, you should have your, you should have done your research and review of, I mean, uh, literature on this one. Teacher, this this statement should have literature or based on readings and research, I mean, literature searches that you had. You, you cannot just came up with five minutes out of your uh, uh, out of just uh, a mere guess. No, we call we call the hypothesis educated guess. Okay. So once you have this statement. It is uh, implied that you have you have already done your searches on this question here. Literature searches. Next, construction of a kit or model. Okay. For example, a model of a solar-powered home. Yeah. So your purpose. First, think about how you could use your model. To answer a question or show something. So, uh, in later on in the SIP, uh, it's not a research problem anymore when it comes to uh, gadgets and innovations and uh, RIM, but it is a research goal no? instead of research problem. If you pursue on doing a model or gadgets and etc in physical science so for example your purpose uh, might be uh, like this to find out how solar energy can be restored within a home yeah, okay then uh, the hypothesis of this uh, statement here is the idea you want to try out okay when tested, it will help you accomplish your purpose. For example, in this problem, a model of a solar home will show that certain materials will store solar energy for use in home heating. Okay. So again, in the hypothesis, you have done your searches here with this uh, certain materials that you have mentioned as your model and uh, of a solar powered home. Okay, next. Demonstration of scientific principle. Okay, so we have an example a while ago measuring lung capacity. So, in stating the purpose, focus on a specific thing you'd like to learn from your demonstration. Okay? For example, your purpose might be to find out if large lung is an advantage during 
exercise. Okay? So you have your topic here and you specify your purpose. Again, this time's a purpose you are going to specify on what particular uh, area of measuring lung capacity is applied. Huh? Might be find out if large lung is an advantage during exercise. And then your hypothesis, of course, will explain what you think your project will demonstrate. So, in this example, students with largest lung capacities can do the most exercises. Again, this hypothesis is a product of literature searches. No? It's just not it's not just a mere a mere guess. Next. Topics to avoid. So, uh, we're done. We're, uh, okay, so let's just finish this as uh, slide 25. So, we are already slide 22. Topics to avoid. So, what are the things that uh, that is not uh, viable, applicable in a research project, no? science investigatory project or topic? Any topic that boils down to a simple preference or taste comparison. Okay? For example, which tastes better, Coke or Pepsi? So, though you, let's let's just avoid that, no? By by answering that, ta I mean by uh, looking at the topic, we can uh, just answer that uh, by by preference, no? The reason why we need to avoid is such experiments don't involve the kind of numerical measurements we want in a science fair project so the data how to came up with the data pro data there the, they are more of a survey than an experiment so again it's a survey form so there's no scientific uh, approach to can be applied to this uh, so let's just avoid this topic next survey topics now. most consumer product testing of the which is based the uh, statement i mean which is best <laughs> statement i'm sorry you know mga question no? for example I, I mean this includes comparisons of popcorn bubble gum makeup detergents cleaning products and paper towels yan yung mga which is best type comparison the reason this project only have scientific validity if the investigator fully understands the science behind why the product works and applies that and applies that understanding to experiment. Okay, but because uh, this may may in turn uh, uh, still a mere survey type, which is best comparison uh, study, you know. So um, the investigator or the respondents may not be aware of the scientific principle behind science behind of the product it's just uh, their preference also let's continue another any topic that requires people to recall things they did in the past oh, okay so the data tends to be unreliable so yung mga Remembering the past portion ng mga topic, no? So, let's avoid that. Next, effect of colored light on plants. <laughs> this is uh, overly done. So, uh, I guess we have the... Since uh, elementary, uh, over the years, uh, it's uh, effects of light on plants has always been... Uh, has always been... Uh, one of the topics presented uh, again this is uh, overly done no anon term ng overly done what's the other term for this no? uh, yeah overly done no? i cannot think of another term effect of music or talking on plants okay <laughs> so this is very difficult to measure so yeah this so again uh, let's uh let's consider also in choosing a topic the methods 
we need to employ in doing that is it uh, again just go back to the previous discussion is it feasible doable or is it possible to do no? next effect of running music video game or almost anything on blood pressure okay so the result is either obvious the heart beats faster when you run or difficult to measure with proper controls the effect of music no? so again so heartbeat uh, blood pressure usually a uh, heartbeat beats faster if there are activities uh, other than normal no? and then uh, scientifically music effect of music and uh, video game is difficult to measure of course next graphology or handwriting analysis so uh, there's there's no scientific uh, concept yet or principle behind that next 24 slide 24 effect of color on memory emotion mode taste strength etc no? again this is very subjective and difficult to came up with a data of this uh, difficult to measure no? next any topic that requires measurement that will extremely dif that will be extremely difficult to make or repeat given your equipment so without measurement you can't do science so uh, especially if uh, those uh, topic that are uh, beyond your level as, as, a, as a student researcher where you need uh, materials from coming from other countries US things like that and uh, okay. again uh, we, b we always base our uh, say st st student research or uh, science research project based on the availab availability of the resources money time and effort next any topic that requires dangerous hard to find expensive or illegal materials of course no this is uh, uh, covered in our in our second uh, in our previous video on the rules and ethics in conducting research astrology or ASP or uh, things like uh, tele uh, telepathy extrasensory perception studies of stars and your fate and no scientific validity or basis and let's just cut this one in these topics to avoid and let's continue our next video on the, the rest of the remaining slides 24 slides 25 24 slides maybe you know so thank you for watching guys and answer the questions given in our LMS if you have comments, suggestions, or clarifications, just uh, message uh, me or personally PM or in our GC. Bye, guys. Okay, so that's it. You are going to answer LMS in these uh, uh, questions in the LMS about this topic. So... See you in the next video. Bye.